did count myself most fortunate to join the noble company at Montacute, whereat my lord, his family and guests were all assembled. Full many a perfect gentle knight had come to join in honourable combat. Tis the custom, and in the year 1292, by royal statute and new laws, ordained. the Queen of Youth and Beauty comes to give her judgment to choose the doughty knight most worthy of distinction for his prowess at arms. But jesters before jousters. And so the tale unfolds. Now the Marshal of the Lists advances to beg the Queen's permission to commence. Esquires and attendants with the great jousting lances, each the length of three men. Two knights ride forward. Each will receive a ribbon, the favor of their most esteemed lady, to carry into battle with all chivalry. Gallant knights take up their positions. The marshal gives the signal. God help us all! <laughs> Round table league, Sir Bedivere nil, Sir Gawain nil. Sir Mordred nil, Sir Lancelot nil. better. So at a stately home in Somerset, now the property of the National Trust, the pageantry and valour of the tournament lives again. According to medieval writ, jousting is a display of prowess. It's never carried out in a spirit of hostility. They were jousting, of course. Brave knights, in a conflict as old as chivalry itself, and the time-honored battle cry, Avant, proud princeling, I'll have your guts for garters! <laughs> 